hello guys so welcome back so in this video we are going to learn all about strings which is a built-in collection data type why we call collection data type because it stores or yes it stores collection of elements so we will call this as collection data type so we have other collection data types as well that is list tuples set dictionary we will look into this in the upcoming videos you can find the playlist here i have already uploaded four videos on the python so if you have not watched these videos please go back and watch these videos and come back again so if you have watched any video if you want to access the books which i have created in this folder so you can go to the description box and you can find the drive link here and go and access the notebooks which will be redirected, redirected to this page you can access the notebooks from my google drive so without wasting time let's get started okay firstly what is strings so in simple or in general if i ask what is strings strings is a what collection of characters right so many characters link it together to form string in python if you want to tell anything as a string whatever the thing which will be written inside a double quotes so let's say this is a double quote if i write something inside this double quote then this is called as what this is called as string if i want to declare a variable let's say i will declare variable like a string let's say string and if i initialize a value with let's say hello so here string is a variable which is storing a string hello okay let me change the name because you may get confused name so what is name name is a variable which is storing a string hello here what is hello hello is a string right because it is enclosed within a double quotes so this is what this is string so if i want to print this string what we will do we will simply use print statement and within the print statement we will use to write the name of the variable which is storing the string if I run this, you can see the output here that is hello. Okay, this is how you are going to declare a variable which is a string variable and you are going to initialize the value of string. So, I have declared the variable which is within a single line of input, right? Which is a single line of string. This is a single line of string. Let's say I have a string in multiple lines. How can we initialize that with a variable? Let's say I have a variable like description. Okay, we will have description, let's say we have to initialize this description which is of multiple line strings let's say this is a multiple line string i want to initialize this entire string into this description variable how can we perform this to perform this what you do is at the starting of this string put three double quotes at the end of the string again put three double quotes so this is how you are going to use three double quotes at the starting and three double quotes at the ending of the string multi line string to initialize the variable of description which is of multi line string so if I print this particular description, what it will display? It will display the entire string which is initialized to this, right? Description. I will run this. So you can find here, this is the first one, this is this one. And the last three lines are of the output, this one, this print statement. So this is how you are going to initialize the multi-line string. This is how you are going to initialize the single line. String. Actually, what are strings? You can see. We have find some uh, other data, other data types in uh, C, C++ that is arrays, right? What actually arrays do? Arrays also do the same thing. It, it also stores the collection of elements, right? Which is of a same data type. But here string will store the collection of elements of multiple data types as well. You can also insert numbers in between because they are also considered as strings in Python. Okay, so this is a bit like an array. I have taught you in the uh, previous video loops concept. So if I want to iterate through this each and every characters in this string, let's say I will initialize one more uh, string, let's say the another string will be good. Let's say this is a string variable. So string variable contains a uh, name, let's say Monday. If I want to iterate through this entire string and print, I want to print all the characters present in this. How can we do this? So using loops, let's say for, we will use for loop here for what we have to print we have to print each and every character right so iterator should be i in this particular string that is good what we have to print i in good means for each and every character in this particular monday which thing should be printed i should be printed right why i because for each and every characters in this particular string good that is when i in good initially i will be pointing to m so m will be printed then I will be pointed to what? O. Then O will be printed. Then I will be pointed to N. Then N will be printed. Then D. Then A. Then Y. If I run this, you can see here that is M O N D A Y. Right. But they are displaying in what? 
new new lines if i want to remove these new lines what can we do i explained this in the, in the previous video if you put end here and with a space if you don't put space also it is fine if i run this you can see the output here you can see monday has been printed in the single line and we have iterated through each and every characters in a given string it is not necessary that we should iterate through each and every characters in the string and print we can also print it like directly that is print good then also the result will be same here you can see monday this is of first one that is looping this after this the monday is coming which is of the result of this here we don't find any space in between if i put empty print line in between you can find the monday in the new line okay this is string and uh, how to initialize a single line string multi line strings then how to iterate through the strings using loops let's say i will put another string let's say fruits is equals to apple let's say fruit is equals to apple okay if i want to find the length of this particular string that is what is the length of this string 1 2 3 4 5 right so if i want to find the length of this string what you do is print i will directly print the length l e n this is a function inbuilt function so length of whichever the string you are going to find the length put the string name inside this what oval brackets if I, I will put root if you print this it will displace the length of this particular string that is len of fruit if i run this you can see it is of displaying phi right is it correct see one two three four five right so it is displaying correct this is how we are going to find length of any particular string you can also like i have already earlier told you so these are like arrays you can also index the strings as well if i print and also indexing starts from zero so at zeroth index what is present a is present at one index b is present at second index b is present third index l is present and fourth index e is present right so if i print this particular fruit of fruit of zero what will be printed a will be printed right which is at the present end zeroth index if i run this you can see here you can see here a is printed which is present at the zeroth index of this fruit string so this is how you are going to index each and every characters in the string let's say we have a string okay we have string so i'll comment this check if a string is present in a given string given string if we have a string I will take a string like description is equals to today is the good day okay if i do this if i want to check whether a substring is present in this string let's say i will take a substring as today is this particular substring is present in this string description yes right because see you can see the today here right so if i want to check whether this substring is present in description how can we do this you can do this like if substring in particular description description so this is p e i o n so if substring in description print s right else print no if i run this you can see yes why yes because this particular today is present in this description substring if i change this today to today's will it return true will it return true can you find today's in this string no right so it will display what it will display no so this is how you are going to check whether a string is present in a given string or not and also we can check whether the element is not not present in this also if i put here not in uh, it will display what this will display what if substring not in description means if this is not present in this it will display true right if i run this you can find true or s you can see s okay these are some uh, applications of not in and in operators so if you have not watched that video please go to the lecture 2 of this python series and you can find video based on operators which is completed in depth so now what we will do is we will move on to string slicing so what is string slicing let's say you are given a string string is equals to monday is the first day let's say this is a string you want to slice this from zeroth index to to end of this monday why 
So let's count the index first. M zero index one two three four five. From zero to five, if you want to slice this, slice means cutting the string. Okay. If I want to slice this string from zeroth index to where zero one two three four five fifth index, you want only this particular string Monday. You will what we, your what we will do is just slice this particular part of the string and store it another variable. I will take another variable as result. If I want to slice this string from zeroth index to fifth index, what I will do is put string of from where to where. You can also mention zero, or you cannot, um, or you may skip this because if I put like this on the right hand uh, right hand side, what we can do is we have to put the end index of this particular string. That is, if I want zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? If I put five, it will slice only up to a, m o n d a. If I want to slice up to fifth element, what I have to do is I have to put six here. So in looping also, I have told you in the range function, it will take up to n minus one. If you put in the range of six, it will take only up to five, right? So if I print the result, what will be the result? Print result. If I run the cell, you can see Monday. So it got sliced from. If I left this empty here, you, you can also mention zero. The result will don't affect. If I run the same, you can see the same result. That is Monday only. If I remove this, this indicates that from the starting index means zeroth index slice up to the sixth index except a six. So means up to the fifth index. So this particular thing will be sliced and stored in the result. And you may have doubt now. After slicing, will Monday erase from the original string? You may have this doubt, right? If let's say we'll print the string as well. Let's say we have printed the string. So see, you can see here is Monday erased from the original string? No. It will just slice this and take a copy of this and store it in the result. Then it will print the result. So Monday will be remain in the same string, but it will take a copy of this particular substring or a sliced sliced part. So this is what this is slicing. If you want to, you can also do negative slicing here. Means you can also slice from the end of the particular string. But if you slice from the starting index, it will takes from zeroth index to particular string. If we slice from the last index. The last index will be counted from minus one, so minus one, minus two, minus three, then minus four like this. Let's say I want to slice the day in this string, particular string. How can I slice? Let's say result. I will store result two as the last index or a last word. I will store this in a variable last word. Let it underst understandable. So which is the last word here? This day, right? If I want to slice this from particular string, you can have two options here. One is from slice from the starting of the string. If I go from the starting of the string, what is the index of this particular day? You can find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, right? So from twenty-one to where? Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. From twenty-one to twenty-four, right? So if I slice the original string from twenty one to twenty four, if I print the result last word, if I print the result last word, so actually this is from twenty I guess twenty to twenty four. You can see the day here, right? But uh, you have uh, given a small string, so you have iterated from the starting of the index and you have printed the last word. If the string is very large, will you start counting from this? We will start counting from this. No, right? We will do iterating from the last, last directly last index of the string. So how can you perform this? Go for negative indexing to do this. So how to perform negative indexing? So positive indexing starts from zeroth index, but negative indexing starts from minus one. Means y will be at minus oneth position, minus two, minus three. So we have to slice from where to where. In order to slice from this particular d to y, what you have to do? You have to slice from minus one to minus four. Is that correct? Is that correct? See, we have to slice from d to y. Means in the reverse order. So we have to slice from where to where. This is of minus three, right? So minus three to where? Minus three to minus one. Or you can go for minus zero as well. Minus three to. If you leave it as empty as well, this will give the same result because I have early early told you. So if you leave this empty up to the end of the string, if you leave the beginning of this empty from the starting to the particular index six, 
if i run this now so you can find day right so this is easier one uh, as compared to the earlier which we have iterated through each and every characters or letters in this string and we have printed the day so this is how negative indexing works let's say i want to slice from the beginning of the index to let's say for an uh, any any index which is present in between let's say i want to slice from beginning of the index to i what you will do from the beginning means you can leave it as empty and up to what index you have to move let's say i want to move from 6 i if i want to move from i this is what uh, at what index this is at seventh index right so we have to put it 7 plus 1 8 we have to put 8 here because in the slicing as well the last element is not included so last element is not in included so we have to put plus 1 here so this is should be careful and if you want to slice from any part of the string to end of the string what you do you will put any number here let's say i will take a minus 3 which is from last index that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and till last index last index means till y so if you want to print any particular string which is present in between let's say i want to print the so what is the index starting index of t so y is 5 6 7 8 9 10 so t is at 10th index and 10 till which index we have to print we have to print 10 11 12 till 12 can we can we put uh, 10 to 12 here that is let's say in bit v is equals to string of is this correct is this correct will this give us the correct result if you slice this particular index 10 to 12 the result will be like okay 10 is okay then 11 12 is not included so what you have to do you have to add plus 1 to this particular number which is at the end of the index that is 13 now if you print this result what will be the result the result will be the this keyword the right so you can see the result here the now what we will do is we will move into the next topic that is strings modification so here you can see the strings this is a string right so how to modify this particular string let's say i will take this particular string only copy paste if i want to modify this string you can find this string all the characters are in what small letters right lower case letters if i want to convert this lowercase particular string to an uppercase how can you perform this let's say i will store the result in the result variable and what we will do is we will take the particular string and we will do dot upper to this if i do dot upper to this then the result which is stored in this result variable will be all the uppercase letters of this particular string let's say i will print this result you can see all the characters are converted into what uppercase again if i want to convert this again the result which is in uppercase letters to a lowercase what we will do is we will directly print this result dot lower if i print this result dot lower what will be displaying it will display all the characters which are present in the uppercase and it converts uh, to the lowercase and it will print the result right so this is how you are going to modify strings like two uppercase or two lowercase let's say you are uh, given a string let's say i will take a string as a and uh, i will type good good day okay so this is a given string so you can find two empty white spaces in front of the string and last of the string right so how to remove this in the starting and the ending index if you find any spaces if you want to remove this particular white spaces how to remove this? in python we have a method like strip that is if i print directly a dot strip what this function actually do is it will remove white spaces from the starting of the string and ending of the string it won't remove white spaces from in middle of the string so if i run this what will be the result you can find good day without, without any white spaces in front and in back how can we check that uh, we have spaces in front and back let's say we will print this particular good day before stripping as well print a if i run this see you can see here a white space in front and white space after as well right so after stripping can we find this particular white uh, white spaces before and after the particular variable that is good day no right so this method will do what it will remove white spaces from the front and back uh, back of the particular string so nestly what we will do is let's say we have this particular string uh, b is equals to today we have this particular string today if i want to replace any characters in this particular string if i want to replace o of this particular string how can we perform this 
so we have a method like we will directly print the result so what we will do is we will directly put b dot replace let's say i want to replace o with d okay if i want to replace o with d how can we perform so b dot replace within the double quotes or single quotes what you do is which one to be replaced that string or that character you should write within this and after this which one should replace this particular o that string you should write here that is let's say i want to replace o with d if i run this you can see t d d a y you can see t d d a y why t d d because i have replaced o with d right so after replacing o with d what will be the result t d d a y that's correct right now if you want to split any particular string based on some particular conditions i have actually told you in the first video itself in the input input concept how to split a string using split method once again i will tell you let's say i have a string like c is equals to government let's say this is a word government g o v r i think spelling is correct so if i want to split this let's say we have particular comma in between govern element element uh, let's say we will keep this as element govern element okay so if i want to split this particular string into two parts based on this particular comma which is present in between how can we perform this how can we perform this if i print directly this particular c dot split the result will be if i am directly splitting based on if i leaving this empty means this will be splitted based on the space but we don't find any space here right we want to split based on what based on the comma right so in this split in split the whole bracket what we will do is within the double quotes we will write comma if i write c dot split comma here this string will be splitted based on the comma if i find anywhere the comma then the string which is present to the left will be stored as a separate string and the right will be stored as a separate string if i print this what we will be getting you can see here so you can see two strings this is actually called list list will contains what list will contains collection of elements i will be completing this list concept in the upcoming video we have splitted this particular one string into two strings here right so just know up to this we will look into list in the upcoming video so we have splitted and we have looked into how to split into string let's say we have space in between we don't have comma how can we perform you can see simply you can left like this or you can even remove this particular double quotes if you run this this particular string will be got splitted into two strings you can see here govern element we have splitted this particular string based on the space present in between so this is how you are going to find or you are going to split this string so these are some functions which will be helpful for uh, playing with strings now if i go for concatenation how can we concatenate two strings let's say we have a is equals to hello and we have b is equals to world how can we concatenate two strings how can we concatenate let's say i will take another variable c a plus b will this do concatenation yes of course right this so this is will do what concatenation if these two are numbers it will do addition if these two are strings this will do what concatenation if i print the result if i print c what will be the result hello world together right can you see if i want a space in between how can we do this in between what you do is you simply add this particular double quoted space if i see in this line what is actually going on is a will be stored in c first then this particular string will be concatenated then b will be concatenated to the, after to the string if i run this so you can see the space in between hello and world so this is how you are going to concatenate two strings now we will move on to strings formatting so what is strings formatting let's say you have a variable name and name is darshan and let's say age you have 46 let's say i want to print a statement like hash darshan is 18 years old let's say i want to print this particular statement how can we do if i think in a direct or general method we will do what we will print first what we will print first darshan should be printed right darshan is stored in where name so we will print what we will print name first then what we have to print we have to print a space with is and again space right in order to print that we will use double quotes space is and again space after printing this particular space we have to print the age that is 18 right so age is stored in where age 
Now, if I want to print this particular 18, what you will do? Can you directly concatenate this? Can you directly put here uh, the age which is works? No, you, you are not allowed to concatenate that uh, integer type data with any particular string. So before concatenating, what you have to do? You have to convert this into a string. So how to convert this into a string? Just put str all brackets of which thing you have to convert. So I have taught you this in the first video, typecasting. Please, you have, if you have not watched the video, please go back and watch that video. So if I have put str of age, what it will do? This particular integer type of data will be converted into string type. Right, then it will be getting concatenated. After this, what we have to print? Aim is means Darshan is 18 years old. 18 is also printed here. So then years old we have to print. So if I put space, then years, then old. Now, if I run this, what will be the output? You can see Darshan is 18 years old. But see, here we are using plus operator, double quotes, double quotes, post, again plus, again plus, again double quotes, again double quotes. So this is of bit what, like uh, it is difficult to write this particular line because we are using many other operator and again double quotes, again double quotes, again operator. This is wasting our time. If I want to print this in a very good and efficient manner, we will do formatting, that is strings formatting. Let's say I will write a line here, print. What I will do is, I will directly open one double brace. This is how we are going to format a string. I have opened what? I have opened a double brace. Now, what we will, what I will do is, I will directly write like this open and close first. This, this thing will be replaced by the name of the particular requirements. If I want to print the name, this thing will be replaced after we format this. So this, then what we have to print is, again we have to print age. This will be replaced with what? Age, right? So this thing is replaced by name, then age is directly printed. Then this thing will be replaced by what? Age. And after printing age, what we have to print? Space years old, right? Space years old. So what we have did? We have formatted this. Let's say I won't print this. I will simply store this one variable. Text is equals to this. Now what I will do is I will just format this with two variables. Now how to format this? So take this particular variable name that is text dot use this particular keyword format what you have to write is how many variables you are using first one which one should be printed name name should be printed right in the place of these double braces so in this place what you write is name after name second braces should be replaced with what age right so what you do is write age if you have any more parameters as well you can concatenate in this particular format all braces so what i will do is i will directly print this in a print function print we'll see the result directly if I run this, see the result is same, right? Which is same as the existing one. But see here, this is more good one because why? We are writing or we are formatting this string in a one line first. Then we are replacing this particular old uh, braces, uh, braces in one string formatting function. So this is how we are going to format strings. If I want to add after years old, if I want to concatenate year boy, what we will do? gender is equals to boy if i want to concatenate this particular boy i will just add after age i will just add gender that's it if i execute this you can see darshan is 18 years old boy right so this is how you are going to format string then now we will move into escape characters in string okay escape characters in string i will ask you like if i want to print this statement today today is good day okay so this is a string which we have to print if i print print this in directly like double quotes single quote today single quote is good day if i run this so you can see the result without any what without any interruptions if i want to print the same line if i want to print the same line but here what i will do is i'll just replace this with double quotes I want to print this statement. How can we do? We'll just replace this with double quotes, right? Single quotes should be replaced with what? Double quotes. If I do this, will this execute correctly? If I run this code, will this execute correctly? No, it is not getting executed. Why? See, you can see the error that is invalid syntax. Perhaps you forgot a comma here. So, here why it is not printing means 
whenever you open this double brace it is getting closed here itself right open brace double uh, open quotes double quotes and after this what you are doing is you are simply writing some keywords in between so that is mistake and again you are opening opening the double quotes here and you are closing here so this thing is getting considered as a string but this thing is not considered as a string why this is not in between double quotes because these open quote and double quotes are in separate in this open quotes and double quotes are in separate so in order to print if you want to print this particular string you have to print these double quotes as well right but double quotes should not be considered with the existing double quotes as a pair so in order to do this we have to we have to use escape characters escape characters in python is this particular backslash if you write this backslash in front of any character which is to be escaped controlled by the escape by the control then use this backslash here again use this particular backslash before the ending of this double quotes so if you want to print this double quotes as it is without any interruption what you do is before this double quotes use this backslash again here before this double quotes use this backslash then these particular characters will be skipped it won't the uh, compiler won't come uh, like uh, consider these things it will like uh, use this as a simple string now if i run this you will find today is good day you can see here double quotes today is good day of course you can see the space in between why because i have given a space here if i remove the space and run the code same again you can find today is a good day so this is how you are going to use escape characters in python this is one of the basic one and if i want to print let's say i will print this print good will this print correctly yes of course why see if the color of this is inside the string which you want to print is in red color means the thing will be getting printed automatically without no interruptions so you can see everything within the double quotes is in red so this thing will getting executed correctly if i want to print one more thing let's say i will print hello here after this i want one tab space to print world let's say i want a one tab space in between this how can you do so enter a tab then four spaces will be automatically added here then if you execute this you can find hello space world here but how many space will you do you have to give a tab space here then you have to print the thing if i do this in a shortcut way then it will be easy right if i use this particular backslash and if you use this particular t it will automatically generate you one, one tab space see you can find one tab space here so this is what this will give one tab space in between any strings or after the end of the string as well now what we will do is in some string let's say i will print normal one you have typed this one but you don't want this particular space what you will do you will directly remove this and you will print but i want to do it in a systematic way means what we will do is after this particular space what you do is give a backslash and use keyword b if you use this backslash b what it will do is it will type one backspace okay it will type one backspace which will automatically remove this particular space if i run this you can see the result as normal one continuously why normal one continuously because this particular backslash b is removing this white space which is present behind this so these are some of the escape characters which are present in python so go and explore more there are n number of uh, this particular uh, escape characters in python you can explore more so we will move on to what we will move on to strings methods actually we have already looked into many of the string methods which is present in python let's say here you can see dot upper which is also method dot lower is a method a dot strip is method dot replace is method dot split is method so these all are methods uh, which are uh, which are present in python so we will look into some other methods which are present in python so the first one is count i will take name here let's say i have a string like a is equals to so this is a string so if you want to find the length of the string what you will do you will take length of particular string right so that is print of len of a if you print this it will returns what this will returns length of the string if i want to check how many times a particular character is repeating in this particular string you will use count let's say we have this particular string i will take one more e here let's say write e if i want to check the number of e is present in this particular string what we will do is print a dot count of which character we have to count we have to count e right so within the double quotes we will type e 
if i print this statement this will returns the number of occurrences of e in this particular string how many times e is repeating in this string two times right e, here you can see one time two time so this print statement will return what will return two if you run this you can see two this is what this is the length of this particular string which is right e so the length of this particular right e is what six so this is what this is the count okay so count of this particular character present in this particular given string a now what we will do is we will use one more method that is center so what this actually center method do is it will print the string it will take actually 20 white spaces and in 20 white spaces in the middle of this 20 white spaces that the particular string will be printed let's say we have a string like animal okay so if i want to center to this what we will do is print b dot center after this we have to give some argument here let's say i will give 50 so what actually this function print is it will take 50 white spaces let's say these are like a uh, 50 white spaces means you may know this this is one of this is one white space right two is printed in one white space so this function will take 50 white spaces in that 50 white spaces in the center of the white space b will be printed then the rest of the white spaces before and after will be printed as it is if i run this you can see here you can see here also white space again here is also white space so in the center of this particular uh, white spaces 50 white spaces animal is printed so center will do what it will just print the particular string in the center of the number of white spaces we have sent here so next method is index so what this actually this method do is it will return us the index of any particular character in the string let's say we will take the same string okay so if i want an index of this particular character i how to find the i uh, sorry index of that particular character so we'll print directly b dot index of which character we want we want the index of particular character i right so within this index oval we will send them i so if i if i execute this it will return what three right sorry two why two because i is present at the second index means a is present at zero one and two so index will return what the index of that particular character now we will look into this particular method that is is al new let's say we have a string like god knows three so is this alpha is this alpha no right because it is consisting of number as well if i want to check whether this particular string is alphabetic string or alphanumeric string what we will do is we will go to this print statement and directly print d dot is alpha let's say we'll print first is alpha we'll check alpha so this will return what this will return false why false because d is not only made up of alphabet here you can see number is also present so this is not of alpha so this will return what this will return false if i again check this for is al new so what this method do actually is it will check whether a number is made up of alphabets as well as numbers so hence it is made up of alphabets and numbers this statement will return what this statement will return true if i execute this you can see the last one is true why because this is made up of alphabets and numerals that is numerics and the last second is false why because this is not made up of only alphabets it is also made up of characters so this is one of the function which will be helpful okay guys so these are these are some methods in python so go and explore for these methods as well so these are also important for solving some problems so this much is for this video so we will meet in the next video till then take care bye bye